Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, just like I promised from Chicago, we're going to take another look at the Famaco IP controller and tell you the advantages of it over the other IP controllers that you can use for your camera. So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. It's the first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on the channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. And I want to thank one of my newest uh, YouTube members, which happens to be somebody from my church, Sandra Johnson. Thank you, Miss Sandra. So um, we got the Famaco uh, PTZ controller here and i'll have a link down below actually a very good deal it was two ptz cameras and the controller going for around like 1900 dollars as of this recording which is january 11th 2022 um really good deal because if you put them all together and you buy them separately it's about like two 100 to 200 dollars more if you buy them separately but um what's the advantage of one of these this will allow you to actually only have to connect similar and i'll actually link the video to when i just came from first united methodist church in elgin um, illinois this will allow you to only have to connect a cat 6 cable which will provide network power and control and some type of video cable from your camera and everything can be controlled from the joystick so let's go ahead cut over to the top down camera let's see what's inside all righty so we got this controller here and like i said a lot of these cameras and the controls are based on similar software and protocols and everything like that the only thing you're really different that you're noticing in the price is a supportive team that supports it if you have any issues and then some of the controllers have different buttons which again this is one of those that i want to mention so we got our joystick um, manual got a power plug here which we do not have to use since we're going to be using our um, PoE and the controller that's it so we don't even get a cable with this one because again cables not needed so we're going to be saving that because obviously we're going to be using it let's flip it over here so like it says we have a rs232 i don't believe this functions but i'm again i'm not 100 percent sure because i'm not going to be using it um, we have a rs422 not using that and we have an ethernet port that has a cap here this is what we're going to be using when we connect this over poe there is no power control it doesn't function it's like once it gets a signal it just comes on all right other thing that we have let's zoom in here and we can see a little bit better now one of the other things you'll notice in focus is we got all the same controls the other thing i do like you could twist like you normally have to zoom in and out but you also have this kind of um back and forth type of on off switch or whatever i don't know the proper name for it kind of like a tilt type of zoom control that would give you the same functionality you have your buttons autofocus um, um ae what was that i can't remember off the top of my head um i think it's exposure auto exposure or something like that um and then we got the camera um, on screen display button home which sends it back to the default setting for your um, camera the mo the position of it you set up your search your inquire the white balance mode you can change the colors here you got your ptz speed you got your enter button you know your joystick obviously you got your keypad your presets your call ip address camera and all this other functionality now the other thing i like about this one compared to the others is that you have hot keys for the first four cameras this will um like i highlighted this will allow you to instead of going through inquire and search for the camera based on a list you have a quick button that will actually help you get to it a lot faster which i do really really like now we also have 
our focus and iris control over here. But again, I'm not really going to be messing with that because we're going to be using this automatically. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our connection here. All right, we got some power here. It is set to the default IP address, which we're gonna to need to change. All right, so let's get our cameras on the network and then we're gonna come back and change the settings on this. All righty, so let's zoom in a little bit so y'all can see exactly what's going on here. All right, so first, let's go ahead and put it on our network. We're gonna to go to setup. And let's come down and let's toggle over to the right so we can go to DHCP. Do you want to restart? Yes. Give it a second. And then we're going to make sure we're on the right on my network here. And then we're also going to cut over to the computer because once we're on the IP address, we can connect to this over our network. Give it a second there. And all right, we are on our network. So that's 0158. All right, so let's cut over to the other, back to my desktop and let's look at the joystick here. All right, here we go. And let's go ahead and go to 192.168.0.158, I believe. Yep, and here we go. Looks exactly like the other, um, IP controller, the um, Silty, or however you pronounce it. By default, the password should be empty, but the username is admin. Let's why go full screen with this. All right, we're logged in. Boom, really straightforward. So let's go over to our settings here. And there's where it says it's setting a dynamic address. I don't know why it has a DNS like that. But, oh, well, we're, we're obviously on our network, so I don't need to change that. Um, users, I mean, you can add other users, but honestly, I don't think there's a need for that. So I'm not even going to do that. Um, upgrade, here we can do, if we can upgrade it, factory restore, you know, pretty straightforward. All right, so this part is done. But what we need to do now is we need to put our cameras. I have two um Famaco cameras over on my kitchen table over here that's for Zion Baptist Church right there. So we're going to go ahead and get on, connect to these. So how do we do that? Let's go over here to our network settings. Let's go to my network here, and I'm going to change this IP address here to manual. Turn this on. I'm going to do 192.168. Again, by default, it's on a dot five. So I'm just going to do dot five dot 20, 255, 255.255.0, 192.168.5.1. Dot dot do the same thing for DNS, 192.168.5.1. All right, and we'll save that. Now, I do have two network cards on my computer, so I should still be able to talk to both networks. But let's see. I think it's the default IP for one of these cameras is 192.168.5163. Thank you for saving it. Now, I don't know which one is which, but we're going to do admin, admin, and there's one right there. So let's go ahead and switch this over. We're going to go to configuration, go to Ethernet, DHCP, save, reboot. Reboot. Yes. All right. Now let's delete this and we're going to do it again. And we should connect to the other camera. All right. So there's the other one. Admin, admin. And they are setting right beside each other. So let's go back to config, do it all over again with another camera, DHCP, boom, save, reboot, reboot, yes, yes, all right, 
Now let's go ahead and switch our network back. And now we're back on the controller. Now there's two ways we can do this. I'm going to show it how it would look if you went through the web page, but then we're gonna not going to add them, but we're going to actually, let's flip it around. Let's go back to our overhead and see what it looks like to add. And then we'll see what the web interface looks like once we switch back over to it. All right, so now, since we're over here, let's go ahead and do search. And we should see two cameras now, since they are on our network. I was able to ping our using advanced IP scanner, like I've shown y'all before. I was able to ping and get the IP address for each one of our cameras. So let's do this the old fashioned way, how to add, add this manually. You can do this through the joystick or you can do this through the camera. So I'm gonna do one through actually the camera, through the joystick. I'm gonna do this through the web page, and then the other one I'm gonna manually add. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on manual after logging into the controller put in the IP address, which is for this one, 192.168.0, and then it is 213. The on VIF port is default 2000. We're gonna add username and password, which is admin admin. And boom, there we go, we got saved. Now, because of the um, camera buttons, that's what this number is. So inside of here, we're gonna set this to number one, which will map the camera to the camera one button, all right? So we got that saved and you know it's there because boom, we got it here. So now let's cut over to the camera and the uh, camera, why well, I keep saying that? Let's cut over to the controller and let's add the other one. All right, let's go ahead and do a IP and we're gonna add it one, nine, two, one, six, eight, zero. And, okay, I don't want to do it that way. Let's do it again. One, nine, two, one, six, eight. Let's do three zeros. One, two, three. So we can move to the other one and then 250. Enter. Port 2000. Username. Admin. Password is also admin. Camera, we're gonna say this is number two. Boom, there we go. So now if we go to camera number one, boom, we're connected now to that camera. Camera number two, we're now connected to this one. So if we're here, let's see, can we move that second camera? And yep, there it goes. There we go, moving. Let's go to number one. And there we go, moving. And let's do a refresh on here. There are two controllers. Now, I mean, if you don't like all those extra zeros, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It means the same thing. It's up to you. It just makes it easier for you to get um, directly connect to it. All right, so let's see if we can superimpose everything on top of each other and let's look at how all this stuff moves around. All right, so we got everything here and I guess I should have moved this over, but thankfully I got a long enough cable. Well, nah, I can't move it because then y'all won't be able to see it. But anyway, we're on camera number one. And if we move this one around, there you go. Let's look up. Let's go back and forth. So very straightforward. Now I do not have any video cables hooked up to this. So that's why you're not seeing any image, but let's go to camera number two. And now let's move this one around. Let's go up. Go up. So there you go. Really straightforward. Now, 
Um, what I'm going to do, just like I did in Chicago, when I actually put this in place at the church, I'm going to hard set all of these to a specific IP address, the controller, the two cameras, so that even if the network wasn't present, it can still talk to each other. Um, similar to how I changed my IP address on my computer and then that the cameras weren't even on the same IP, but I could still talk to it. So something like that. But um, link is down to, below to that bundle so you can get all three devices at the same time, or there'll be a direct link to the camera or the joystick if you are interested. Let me know if you have any other questions. I am going to be holding on to these cameras for about um, two weeks. Two weeks i'm actually not going to be installing the system until the first of february so i'll have these for a while so let me know if you have any other questions and again if there are any other um churches now even though i'm using this with the famaco see i said i was going to end it i'm still talking but even though this is paired with the famaco it can still talk to any other ip visca visca sony visca pelco on vif protocol supported cameras so if you have something to where you have ones that you want to go through the menu you could use something like this and then you have a quick access to the buttons so that you can join this is a camera that i like i wanted to use at um pastor allen's um, because he has one two three he has four cameras and this will allow you to quickly jump to those cameras instead of going through a search so there you go pastor allen that might be a good investment for you but anyway like i said link is down below to everything let me know if you have any other questions i'll be have i will have this controller access to this controller until the the end of the first week in february so i can knock out some other questions that you have so if you like this type of content appreciate a like consider subscribing hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry thanks for watching folks this is aj we will see you on the next video later <music>